Hello, Yellow Room friends. It's great to see you. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you watched the video of the butterflies being released outside. I think they're flying all around. Maybe when you walk outside, you'll see one of them flying around your house. I don't know. Of course, I have my friends Sky and Snoopy here today, and we're gonna sing the hello song to you. All right, here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. And Espanol in Spanish, hola. Hola, hola, y como estas? Muy bien, muy bien, y espero que tú también. Snoopy's here today, and Sky is here today. Let's give a cheer for Mary's here. My yellow room friends are here today. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching Eva and her kids' videos about all different kinds of weather. She talked about the sun and the moon and rain and clouds. Today, we are gonna be talking about rainbows. What are rainbows? Does anybody know what a rainbow is? A rainbow is an arch of colors in the sky. And what makes a rainbow? Do you know? Sky, Snoopy, you don't know what makes a rainbow? Well, I'll tell you what makes a rainbow. If, there's, if it has been raining outside, and then the sun comes out, the sunlight shines on the raindrops. It's called, it refracts. The sunlight refracts the light and it turns into a rainbow. So to have a rainbow, there needs to be sunshine and maybe it just rained or it even could be raining still a little bit. There needs to be some wetness in the air and the sun shining. So I want to show you Eva's picture that she did with her kids. Oh, it's too excited. Okay, so there's part, the one has a sun here, and here's the clouds, and there's a rain. So we are going to make a rainbow on this picture that Eva and her kids already started. So usually, if you're looking at the sun or kind of near it, behind you is where you'll see the rainbow. So we are gonna put a rainbow right over here in the sky. This is all blue sky. Now, let's talk about the colors in the rainbow. The one thing that's really interesting about rainbows is that actually all the colors around you are out there, but you can't see them until you can see the rainbow. They're out there. So when it starts to rain and the sun shines, the, the, the sunlight shines onto the raindrops and you can see all the colors, but they're always there around us. But when you can see the rainbow is when all the colors are visible. So the first color of the rainbow is red. So we're gonna put down the red on the picture, right here across from the sun. Okay, that's the first color of the rainbow. Always that in the rainbow, there's the same colors in the right order. So we have red and orange. to look like a rainbow and yellow okay red orange yellow are the first three colors and then it's green there's a green arch the arch is kind of like almost like a half circle like a semicircle and then we have blue and then we have and that is what a rainbow looks like. These are the colors of a rainbow. Yeah, I thought we could do another rainbow craft. This picture, we're gonna keep adding on different parts of our weather theme. So maybe tomorrow we'll add something else onto our picture. Okay, I'm gonna show you the other rainbow craft that we're gonna do today. Now, you know I love using old boxes in my house. So I cut a piece of cardboard into an arch like this. But it doesn't look like a rainbow because we don't see the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple yet, do we? So there's two, th two ways I thought you could make a rainbow at your house. One, if you have all different kinds of colored paper, you could cut out little scraps and glue them all around. You could do red, 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 orange, 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 all the way down. So I'll show you the one way I thought you could do it. So I have little bits of paper. Let me show you even closer. All these little bits of paper. Uh oh, come on. Silly paper. Okay, 
and you can take red and go all the way around like this. All the way around, just like we did in the picture that we added on of Eva's book. Like this. See the red in there? You can go all the way around the whole arch with red. That's one way you could do it. You need a glue stick, put a little on, red. Now, another thing you could do, and you could add it on to this as well, is I thought you could play a little I spy with colors. Because some people don't even have different colored paper at their house, but that's no problem, because look what I did. I found a magazine. Remember, we made a collage one time with a magazine. And I looked through the magazine, and I found pages that, all, that had all the different colors of the rainbow. This is kind of silly. I found a picture with red. It looks like it was a tomato sauce picture. And then I found orange. This was a picture of crackers, I think. Red, orange, and then I was trying to find some yellow. And I went through my magazine and I said, I spy, I spy a yellow line, just like that. And then I looked at another picture and I found even more yellow. I found leaves that are shining through, that are coming through a window of somebody's. And then I said, okay, what's the next? Red, orange, yellow, then I needed green. I found a little piece of paper that had green on it. So you can do that. So I'm gonna show you how you can use your magazine pictures to, to cut out the colors. So like I said, the red, I found tomato sauce. So I'm gonna cut out little pieces. These are, again, these are my grown up scissors, but you probably have little kid scissors at your house. So here's some of the red tomato sauce I cut out and I'm gonna put it all around on my red arch. And you can just keep going, keep going. I'm gonna put glue all the way on here. I found that tomato sauce and there's even little chunks of tomatoes. I'm gonna cut that out because that's the color red. So you can, like, you, like I said, you can go through a magazine and play I Spy, find all the different colors of the rainbow and fill up the whole red arch. I'm also using little bits of paper that I had at my house that were red. But if you don't have those, like I said, go through a magazine. Okay, let's see what comes after the red. Let me get all filled up here. Red, red. I think I'm gonna find another piece of red from my magazine too. This is kind of funny. Here's a bottle of tomato sauce that was red. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of that out and glue that on like this. Okay, and then the next color is orange. So same thing, you can use paper, little cuts of paper, little strips of bits of paper that you can cut up if you have orange paper or I went to my magazine, like I said, and I found, I found some orange on one of the pages. So I'm gonna cut out my orange and cut it into little bits. Boop, 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 boop. It's fun to do snipping with scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna go all around with my orange. So I think you get the idea. There's the orange. And then you can do yellow, green, blue, purple. So those are all the different colors of the rainbows. And then when you're all done with your rainbow, maybe you could hang it up somewhere in your house or put it on your dresser or in your room somewhere. Okay, so I thought that would be a fun rainbow craft that you could do at home. I also have a little song about rainbows. You wanna sing it with me? You guys ready to sing? Okay, here it goes. Red and yellow and, whoopsies, pink and green. Purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Okay, should we do it again? Let's do it again. Here we go. Red and yellow and pink and green. Purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow. Sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Okay guys, I hope you get to sing, see a rainbow. So remember, next time when it rains and then the sun comes out, go outside and look around and see if you can see a rainbow. So when you're looking at the sun, you look behind you in the sky and maybe you'll see a rainbow. Okay. 
All right, now I have a book about a rainbow. It's actually really a silly book. It's about raindrops that pretend like they're playing around. You'll see, this is called Raindrops Are Rainbows. Okay, this is by Valerie Bessette. That's the author who wrote the words and it's illustrated by Kelly Gretler. That's the person who drew the pictures. Rainbows are raindrops. Okay, it was a warm sunny day and little raindrops are playing all over the countryside. They were part of a sunny storm yesterday and now they happily shout back and forth to each other today. Krista called to Hayden, where are you? I'm over here in the pond, Hayden said. These are all little raindrops in that pond. Krista bumped along in the brook with millions and billions of other raindrops. Hayden, I'll be there in, the mo in a moment, she called. Swoosh, over a rock she went between two sticks around a bend and plopped into the pond on the nose of a big green frog. There she is, on a frog. Oh, sorry, Mr. Frog. Sometimes I don't steer very well, she said with a grumpy croak. He dove under a lily pad and he was gone. Here's the frog. Krista called, Chad, where are you? She knew her little cousin must be very close. They had dropped from the same rain cloud yesterday. I'm over here, shouted Chad. Where is here? Krista mumbled angrily. You're always into something. Hayden looked over from the pond and there was Chad. Krista, you know your little cousin. There he is in the mud puddle. Oh dear, said Krista. I can't see which raindrop you are, Chad. You're all dirty. There's the mud puddle right there. Hayden looked and looked around the pond for his little cousin, Bree. He couldn't find her. Oh well, he thought, she always looks for a special place to land. Oh, Bree likes fields of daisies and pale pink roses, or sometimes a garden with rainbow colored flowers. Sighing, Hayden thought, I'll see her when we gather in the sky to make another large and sunny storm cloud. Here are the rainbow of flowers and we know all the different colors of the rainbow now, right? The sun climbed higher and higher in the sky and the day grew warmer and warmer. Chad and the other raindrops in the puddle swam and tumbled and dove and did somersaults. They were getting tired and very, very warm. Those silly raindrops. Chad calls, Krista, I'm changing into vapor. It kind of tickles, but I like it, he giggled. Up, up, up he rose. Millions and billions of other raindrops followed him to a big, puffy cloud in the sky. Do you remember what Eva said, that clouds are made of all, like tons and tons of little raindrops? And when a cloud gets too heavy, it drops the raindrops down. So these raindrops are climbing back up and forming a cloud. They're vapor, which means they're all coming together. Bree, Bree, where are you, called Hayden. He looked everywhere. Where could she be? Krista called excitedly, let's go, Hayden. She was feeling light and airy and just a little funny tickle too. Up, 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 they rose to a cloud. They both had turned into vapor. In the cloud, it was very cool. And soon, they had changed back to raindrops. Hayden swam to the edge of the cloud and looked down on a neat little farm. Krista, I would love to land on that little farm. I think that farmer needs to have some rain on his corn, hay, and pumpkins. Krista, Krista looked over the edge of the cloud and watched three little girls playing hopscotch. Oh, that looks like so much fun, she said. Chad shouted, I'm going to land on that dusty road and help make a great big mud puddle, Krista called to Chad. Just this once, will you try to fall on green grass or maybe a big oak tree? Other clouds gathered swiftly and one tiny raindrop watched a lady run out and take her dry laundry off the clothesline. This woman was afraid that all her clothes that she was putting out there to dry was about to get rained on. Let's see if our raindrops fall on them. A farmer quickly put his tractor in the barn. The three little girls playing hopscotch ran home. They didn't want to get caught in the rain. Still the raindrops gathered, big black clouds with millions and millions of raindrops inside, each raindrop waiting to see where it might fall. Look, shouted Chad, the cloud over there is dropping raindrops on the village and the farm below. Oh no, almost every cloud is raining raindrops. Soon, maybe we won't be needed. They watched as raindrops fell from all the clouds next to them. 
sometimes when clouds are getting really heavy and pushed together, they almost look like they're getting kind of black. That's lots and lots of raindrops all squeezed in together. Hayden called, look, Krista, the sky is blue and the sun is peeking from behind our cloud. Then they were falling down, down, down. Chad, ch Chad shouted, look at the sun is shining right through me and I'm as red as an apple. It looks like the sun's light is refracting off of the raindrop and he's turning red. He watched other raindrops turning the color orange. Krista was shiny yellow, like a golden sunbeam. Hayden turned as emerald green as grass. Chad could see other raindrops in shades of blue and indigo. Indigo is kind of like purple. Little Bree whispered, look everyone, I'm the color of a bouquet of spring violets. So all the raindrops are being shined on by the sun and the sunlight is refracting off of the raindrops and making a beautiful, all the beautiful colors of a rainbow. Bree, where have you been? said Hayden angrily. I've been looking all over for you. Oh my, Bree said softly, you know I would never miss being part of the best rainbow ever. So after they came out of the cloud, the, the sunlight shined right on all the raindrops and they turned into a beautiful rainbow. The end. That book was called Raindrops Are Rainbows. Okay. One final thing. I thought, I was reading that book and I saw the frog and it reminded me of our five, five Little Speckled Frog song. You wanna sing that together? Let's do it. Okay. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Here it goes. Cowabunga! Splash! Where it was nice and cool, now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Here I come. Woohoo! Splash! Oh no, it swirled around. Where it was nice and cool, then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Ah, splash, where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Here I come, friends. Splash, where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool. Here I come. Come on, here I go. And splash, make room for me. Cowabunga. Where it was nice and cool, then there were no green speckled frogs on the log. And the five green speckled frogs swam, swam, and splashed around. They tried to catch more flies with their tongues. That's how frogs do it. They go, and they catch flies on their tongue. They eat them up. They love flies. Snoopy said, I don't really like flies. I don't like flies either. All right, little guys. Time to go back up onto your log. Take a nap now after all your swimming. Let's count them together, guys. Remember, there's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh, they're sleepy. You know what? I think they want to lay down. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. One, two, three, four, five little froggies went to bed. Good night. Okay, we will try not to wake them up when we sing our goodbye song, okay? All right. Goodbye, froggies. Goodbye, Sky. Goodbye, Snoopy. And goodbye, Mary. Goodbye, Yellow friends and goodbye all of us. We hope you had a happy time, a happy time, happy time. We hope you had a happy time. I had a great time too. Okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to talk about wind. Okay, have fun making your rainbow crafts. Maybe you can show them to me on the Marco Polo. Okay, love you. Bye. I'm going to turn the camera off now. See you later.